In this video, I'll show you how to use gestures on the trackpad of your MacBook Air M4. So let's get started. There's a few of them. Before starting, whatever I'm showing you right now, you can find it on your Mac in the settings and you can edit certain of them. So go on the top left corner, select the Apple logo, then select system settings. On the left side, go down and select trackpad. Over here, you're going to have everything that I will show you in the next few seconds. And you can also, as I said, edit certain of them. So tracking speed, if you find that what I will show you next is too fast for you, you can slow down. And you also have other options here. So let's get started. First, we have the click. By default, the trackpad is made that you absolutely need to press down so the click register. So if I want to click here, I need to push it all the way down until I feel like a small vibration and then uh, yeah, the click will be registered. But you can change the settings so you don't have to click all the way in. You simply need to give a small tap on the trackpad. So in the settings, same place where I showed you a few seconds ago, you're going to have over here tap to click. Simply turn this on and just watch. Let's say I want to click over here on the buy button simply by giving it a very simple tap, gentle tap, it will register. So this is a small tip. If you want to zoom in on a picture or if you're browsing the web like over here because you want to see something closer, use two fingers, go on the trackpad over here and simply do this gesture to enlarge whatever is on the screen. Once you have enlarged, if you want to move around, use two fingers and drag them left and right, up and down to position whatever picture or text you were enlarging. If you want to scroll up and down a web page or a document, an Excel spreadsheet, use two fingers and push up or push down to scroll. Just like that, up and down. Zoom in, zoom out. You can also scroll when you're zoomed in, like this. It still works. And there's also a feature called Smart Zoom. Use two fingers and simply double tap the trackpad with your cursor on whatever you want to zoom in. Let's say these watches. By doing this, it will enlarge. Um, the Mac will enlarge what it thinks you want to see closer. And you can do the contrary to come back, whoops, to come back at the same spot. Sometimes it doesn't work like right now. I just wanted to show you that you may have to repeat the gesture twice. Now let's put the Mac, the Mac on the side here so you see better. You can also rotate. Let me open a picture. Let's say I want to rotate this. Take two fingers and rotate them. Okay, just like imagine you had a piece of paper here. By rotating with my fingers, I can do this simple gesture. It works the other way as well. So you can rotate pictures quite quickly. If you're on the web and you want to go to the past page that you were in, you can obviously click this small arrow to go back or go forwards, but you can also use two fingers and swipe left or right. Let me show you. Let me, let's say I want to go back. I go like this to come back to the page. I was do the contrary. You see, simply by swiping left and right, um, you can do this. If you have multiple things open, okay, let's say I'm on my calendar here. And I also have two other windows open. Take three fingers and swipe up. You're going to see all the windows that are open on your Mac. You may have more than three. And once it's like that, you simply need to click on the one you prefer seeing. So I, you can jump quickly from one window to another. You can also do the contrary to go back to the window. Let's say you did this by mistake and you want to go back, take three fingers, drag down and you'll come back to the window. You can also launch the launch pad where all your apps are located. Obviously you can click on this icon with your mouse, but you can also use a gesture to do this. Take your thumb and three fingers and simply bring them together, but do not move your thumb. Okay. Whoop. This is a bit hard. I never use it. 
okay you see it appeared right here these are this is the launch pad let me redo it you see it works but yeah I don't think many people will use this feature and finally, you, let's say you have multiple windows open and you want to show the desktop and your desktop is buried in the back. Take your thumb with three fingers and open up like this. Again, it's a bit hard. And the desktop will be shown. Let me redo it. Okay, so thumb plus three fingers. And the desktop is here and you can select whatever is on your desktop you want it to access. To go back, it will go back by itself. Okay. Just like that. And finally, if you like to have your apps in full screen, let me put this one in full screen. And the other ones as well. Okay, so I have three things in full screen. If you take three fingers and you swipe left and right, you're going to go from one app to the other, one screen to, to the other, just like this. It's very quick and this is something many people are using. And from here, if you want to show the desktop, like I just showed you previously with your thumb and three fingers, you can do this and you're going to see desktop here, you can click. So this is it. These are the basic gestures you can do on the trackpad of your MacBook Air M4. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.